So please do make yourselves comfortable. And first of all, I'd like to introduce you, Jane J, who will do the introduction <coughs> for us. Um, I'm going to read two pieces of poem, poetry that I wrote. Um, the first one is called I Dream of Peace. And I think that's something that we can all relate to in our lives, like, regardless of what we go through. But what, I, what inspired me to write this was um, after the Haitian earthquake. And it just kind of really moved me to, 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 to write this. And it just goes to show how you know, it's not just limited to one particular issue, but there's lots of issues that move us. And it's interesting to see that all of us have gathered here today because we've been moved by a particular issue that's occurring in Congo. So um, I dream of peace. I dream of peace. A peace that fills streets with a rhythmic beat from the skipping feet of little children on their way to school and to that same beat will dance. A peace that opens many doors, and when one day words like war will be a thing of the past. Children will look back and laugh and say, people don't die that way anymore. A peace where physically, mentally, or spiritually, there is no rape. Where men do not break women's hearts or shatter their minds because that type of peace is the most precious that a man can find. I dream of a peace where buildings will not crumble as the earth rumbles and where any boy in the world can grow up to be the next rumble, young man rumble. And stories will be told from far and high about how during the roughest times, you and I were unified, and from our path we did not stumble. We will one day know for whom the bell tolls, and that bell will bring the peace that fills our hearts with a song that was silenced for far too long. It doesn't matter where you are from. I dream of a peace where you can go anywhere in the world and you will belong. A peace where birds are let free from their cage, and we're no longer held prisoner by rage. The innocent no longer placed behind bars carrying physical wounds and psychological scars. For the cry of justice will be heard from both near and far on the day when peace is all of us. Peace. Um, the second poem I'm going to do is called We Live On. And it's another one that just like tries to capture you know, the human experience. And I guess it really speaks for itself. We live on. This is to God, to all the newborns that just came from her, and to those who have just returned. To those whose cries were never heard and were absorbed only by the night. This is to love over loneliness. We live on. To the silent nights where only beating hearts are heard and to those who can never quite find the words to take them there. This is to those who have turned their backs and walked away, and to those who would never let you walk alone, our paths are different but the same, we live on. To those who stay strong, but only to mask the pain, to those who are brave enough to show the tears on their face, this is to the meek, to the quiet. Your voice will one day come alive, this is to life, to the days that have passed us by, and the nights that draws us closer together, we live on. To the dreamers, waiting for a chance to make it happen. And to those who missed the chance to make it happen and would do anything to get it back again. This is to the hope that came from the pain that we can never forget. And to the lost love that we too often regret or we live on. This is to the women who do not know of their beauty trapped within. And to the men who keep their emotions locked in. This is to you. I write this out of love. So take it and let it be your key to freedom. Do not let neither crooked wind nor fear of falling stop you from attempting to fly. What height is a mountain from the top of a star? And what is life if only witness from the distance? So take this life, this, this existence, pull it close, give it meaning. Let your soul come seeping through and show it to the world. There is no honor in seeking to hide. Yours is a light that prophets once spoke of, a light that stars were formed from, a light that will live on. We will live on. Her sister, Ornella, who are going to play guitar and sing for you. Hi, everyone. Hello. Um, the first song we're going to sing for you is called Song of Songbirds by Eva, Eva Cassidy. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Shine. 
Thank mm-hmm. you. 